Hello everyone. Uh, how's your how's your uh, programming uh, life? <laughs> are you are you learning something out from this uh, YouTube channel? You know, uh, this YouTube channel of mine is uh, composed is divided into three parts. Uh, the first one is on the educational side. Um, I, I tend to post videos about C programming language and eventually if I'm done with this uh, C programming lam language I will be shifting to Java, C sharp and some other programming languages which I will be discussing also right and then um, the second part is on my being a pit lover I, I love dogs I love you know koi I do have some backyard gardening. Uh, those are activities, uh, anti-stress activities on my part. I I'll, I I posted some videos also, and then the third part is uh, also this uh, my personal one, uh, my personal uh, you know because, because I I love and uh, I love some travels right. I I have my I have my grandson, and I I I tend to document his uh, development right so uh, that's it and uh, that's why I, 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 I have this uh, titled uh, Kuya Ig World um, this is my world right and uh, but uh, more or less my, my, my focus is on the educational side I posted a lot of videos on C programming language right? So today I would love to share you another sample program and uh, um, in here um, I would like to share to you this one what if we we'll try to create a C program that will generate a multiplication table right and we can even expand it right? can generate division table right subtraction and addition table and then uh, the required knowledge on this particular problem is at least you have to know the inputs and outputs of C. I, I made mention in my previous video that in C there are actually three uh, inputs and outputs. Pentif and scanif, gets and puts, and we have this get car and put car. And then we have to be knowledgeable also of the variables in C. Because in C programming, if you are not going to declare variables on the upper part of the program, you cannot create programs. <laughs> so that's it. And you have to know the rules in, in, in declaring variables. And the third one is the data types. When you are to declare variables, you have to be very familiar with the data types. Integer, character, float, and so on, and uh, so forth. And uh, for us to create a multiplication table, you have to be we will be using for loop you know me personally i love for loop we have four types of loop statement right we have nested for loop we have for loop we have do while and we have while loop but i am so much inclined to ah uh, for loop uh, statement right so um that's what I'm going today, I will be discussing programs on this, and actually the the, the program is finished. Right? This is the program. <laughs> Look at this, right? So I, I I declared num. This is actually the a, a variable that will be storing values on this, right? For us to to create multiplicity table, and I here is for my for loop, okay. And I, I did use the input and output statement in C programming, right? Print if and scan if. I'll be asking for a number. And whatever is that number, that will be stored to num. And why did I use the this data placeholder percent D? Because the data type of num is what? An integer. And the data placeholder of an integer variable must be percent D, okay? So whatever values that will be supplied will be stored to num. And then here comes this for loop statement. Okay? So for loop statement. Uh, I'll try to you know to do some 
some um, alignment on this here um, for i is equal to 1 right for i is less than or equal to 10 I, 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 we can set anything I mean, but I just tried to limit our multiplication table to 10 right and then uh, increase the value by every time it loops that's i plus plus and the loop body is in here uh, we'll try to place num here right whatever is our num and then for the second placeholder we'll be placing whatever is the value of i on our loop and then on the third data placeholder we'll be placing your num multiplied by your i right so it's very simple for example in here um enter a number say for example we we entered five so when you press enter k that five will be stored to will be stored to num so num now has a value of five right and then followed by for loop right for i is equal to one i has a value of one and then condition is your i less than or equal to 10 right of course the condition is true because our i is 1 now since true print this one right so what is that print person d person d this person d represents the value of num right so our num is how much our num is 5 okay then followed by an x or a multiplication sign and then another person d represents the value of i how much is our i our i is one right so one then followed by an equal sign and then another data placeholder present d that represents num times i so meaning num times i our num is five and our i is one five times one that's how much that's five right and then um, it loops again because of this curly bracket when it loops increase the value of i so this time i now has a value of two and then check the condition is two less than or equal to ten of course the condition is but true now since true print the value of num then followed by x then whatever is the value of i then equal sign then num times i meaning five times two which is ten are you following right it's very simple uh, and then um, the next one is again it loops again I'm sorry here it must be I here so it loops again when it loops I now becomes how much 3 because of I plus plus and then condition is I less than or equal to 10 of course it's true right now since true print or perform the loop body the loop body is what display the value of num with x and then followed by the value of i which is 3 then an equal sign then multiply your num times your i our num is 5 and our i is 3 so that's 15 very simple okay and so on and so forth when it exits from the loop right assuming our i is 9 right so is your i which is 9 less than or equal to 10 yes it's true so since true okay perform print the value of num x then followed by your value of i which is 9 and then compute num times i and place it here right after equal sign so here so 5 times 9 that's how much 45 and looped again right so when it loops again I now becomes how much? 10. Condition is I less than or equal to 10. The result is true because uh, 10 uh, because 10 is equal to 10, right? Less than or equal to 10. It's true. So since true, perform the loop body. Display the num, print x, right? And display whatever the value of i. And then multiply it num by i. So that's 15 here this is now the, 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 the turning point when it loops again i becomes 11 because of i plus plus right so 
passion or condition is i less than or equal to 10. This time your i is 11. So 11 is nothing more less than or equal to 10. So meaning the condition becomes false. Right? Now since the condition is false, what's next? Do not perform this one. So do not perform, do not print anything in here and move your cursor next to the curly brackets. Next to curly brackets is a, is a return value. It's an exit value. So your program will exit, your program will end, and this is the screen now. Simple, right? So uh, it's a very short and very simple example, but you know you can use these this techniques in, in, in your programming life, right? So we'll try going to our um, um, C compiler, okay? So this is actually the same program that I did discuss a while ago. You can remember, right? This one. And we'll try clicking run. So here. And if we'll supply 5, so this 5, when we are going to press enter key, will be stored to num. Are you following? And uh, our i starts at 1 and it will end up at 10. So because of this percent d times percent d equals percent d, this is the result. Okay, this is the first percent d, the value for num, and this is actually x, and this is the second percent d, the value for i, and equal right here, and this one percent d is actually the result of what num times i. So you're good as you're trying to what. To create a multipli uh, multiplication table for five. Right? So nice technique. Okay. So here another example. If you are to create a multiplication table of three, so when you press enter key, it will display that way. Okay. So um, if you are to create a multiplication table of nine, for example, then no problem. It will display that way. You can even create a multiplication table of 100, right? And it will display, or 1000, and displays anything, right? So, um, um, now, what if you are going to create the same program, but instead of displaying a multiplication table, you'll be displaying an addition table. So, just change plus in here, right? And change your formula to plus and run so let's see for example five so we are trying to create an addition table of five okay fine okay so um say for example uh, we'll try to create an addition table of 10 or 100 let's see so here right so um that's it. Uh, if you want to create a table of multiplication, uh, division, or a table of subtraction, you, 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 all you have to do is just change the operator in here and formula in here. Okay. So, a very simple uh, program, a very simple programming uh, program, but then uh, the techniques, right? Uh, you can use this technique in your uh, programming. Um, journey okay so I, I i hope i was able to share useful though it's so short but uh you can use this in your uh journey as you tend to learn programming deep 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 down okay so thank you so much for now god bless you please share this video please um share it to your friends your relatives your neighbors or you know wanting to learn c programming or uh, interested in programming life um, you know the best way to be good in programming is to start learning c programming language thank you so much god bless you god bless us all god is good all the time